Hello everyone, my name is Eric Frick and I'm the instructor for Introduction to Assembly Language. In this lesson, we're just going to look at the introduction of the course. We'll look at what you'll need for the course, what background you need, and the overall contents of the course. So let's go ahead and jump in and get started. First off, welcome to the class. Thank you so much for your interest in this class. In this overview, I'll show you what hardware and software you'll need for the course, what background you need, and a brief overview of the content. So let's go ahead and jump into the details. First off, what hardware and software you need. You need a computer or mobile device, obviously, to watch the videos, but the main thing you need is access to a Linux system and the GNU C compiler. That'll be the environment I'll be demonstrating the assembly language programs in. We'll be using what's called GAS, the GNU assembler system that's part of GCC. This is a free compiler and you have two options for this. One is you can sign up for a Google Cloud Platform account, uh, GCP. You can sign up for a free account there and use the Linux machine that's part of the free account. And I'll show you how to do that. So that's kind of the preferred option. And that's what I'll be showing you as far as demonstrations from the command line. The other option I'll show you is how to install a Linux virtual machine using the Oracle VirtualBox. And both of those are free to download as well. It does require a bit of resources to run a virtual machine. But since it's a Linux machine, it's pretty lightweight. So let's go ahead and look at the background that you need. So for, as far as background, I assume that you're a complete beginner with no previous experience. So some familiarity with a higher level language like C is useful. And I'll point out the commonalities between the higher level language of C and the assembly language. And we'll look at that in a little bit of detail. But really, you need no previous experience. I'll take you along step by step for everything you need. So let's go ahead and look at the overall contents of the course. This chapter, chapter one, is some introductory material where I talk about some of the motivation of why you would want to learn assembly language. And then in chapter two, we're going to look at the details of hardware, how a computer basically operates, and most importantly for assembly language, how a CPU works and some of the elements of a central processing unit. In chapter three, we'll look at some basic math that's necessary for being an assembly language programmer. We'll look at binary numbers and hexadecimal numbers and how to do basic conversions. And then chapter five is optional. If you already know this, you can skip over this if you have some knowledge of the Linux command line. It's a crash course, just a few lessons so that you're comfortable with the command line and you can navigate around. Then in chapter six, we're going to look at the details of the x86 or gas assembly language. We'll look at the not every single statement within there, but we'll look at the most important ones and relevant ones so you can get started. And I'll also point you to some good reference materials. In chapter seven, we're going to look at x86 assembly language programming. That's what we came here to do. We're going to write some code. We'll go through step by step some simple pieces of code and then progress to some more complicated pieces of code. And what I want to do is demonstrate to you the elements of assembly, how you would do a loop, how you would do conditional logic, how you uh, access the C library, those types of things that are very fundamental to assembly language program. And then we'll end up with one kind of final assignment that blends everything together. So there'll be hands-on exercises for you to code and really learn the language at, at this point. So that's really it. That's the high level overview of the course. Thank you so much for the interest in the course. Please leave a review. I, I want to improve this course as much as I can continually. If you give me specific feedback, then I can have something to work on. Also, you can contact me at sales at destinlearning.com. That's really it. Let's get started. I'll see you in class. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for your interest in this video. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button. Also, if you'd like to see more material like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. That's it for this video. Thanks again, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.